this? Let's use this. So let's use the hydrating primer with Elf here, real quick. Sorry. Y'all, I'm just like, <laughs> right now. But this is the time that I have to do a live. So, I'm gonna do a live. <laughs> Oh, I forgot about how uh, watery this is. That was on me. And yes, you guys, it was super fun to get all of that lipstick off of my face and off of my neck and everything. <laughs> Even with the balm, it was just like, oh my gosh, my whole face was like pink. I look like Poppy off of Trolls is what I looked like right after getting all that off. Like, seriously, it was insane. Gosh darn, I forgot how watery this primer is. Dang it. <laughs> that was way too much. It's alright, though. I'll just get it everywhere, so... Make sure my whole skin is all hydrated. Oh! <laughs> Y'all, it's crazy. Crazy! Crazy, crazy, crazy. Alright. So we're going to go in with the spoiled foundation today, you guys. Um, I'm going to put a little concealer on in a second, but I'm pretty sure it was this one. Yeah, it was this one. Um, excuse me. I'm sorry. Um, we're going to use the sample that I got because I bought the four sample shades. Um, when she announced and everything, the shades and everything, to figure out, sorry, I'm repeating myself, um, to figure out what shade you are for the actual foundation, because I'm so happy the foundation's available for you guys. It's available! So go snag one. If you need shade matched, message me, and I can get you shade matched for it. I'm happy to do that. I know. It was so pink. It was so funny. Ray was like, he, I literally walked in the room with the, all that stuff all over me. And he was like, he just gave me a look and I was like, don't even say anything. And he goes, oh, I know better. He's like, I know how you are. I'm like, what's that supposed to mean? He's like, you come down here with some crazy looks. Like, I've not seen you done a lot of that stuff in a while. And you come down here and you got crazy, crazy freaking shades all over your face. Like, and I was like, well, I ran out of room on my arm. And he's like, obviously. <laughs> oh, you guys. He just laughs. He just laughs it off. It's fine. He knows how I am, apparently. <laughs> Better know how I am. You know what I mean? Better know how I am. Alright. I wish I had a different foundation brush right now. But I don't. So we're just going to... Actually, I fib. We're actually going to go in, I think, with this one. Hold on. I think we'll go in with this flat one here. And then we'll just blend it in with this one. Because this one doesn't have as much on it as the other ones. Hope I can get in this. Oh yeah, I can. I'm going to use the cap first. So this is the shade. This is my shade. Yeah, this is my shade, right? 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 I think so. Yeah, this is my shade. I was like, is it, is it not? Is it wrong? <laughs> no. No, this is my shade. So for reference, you guys, oh yeah, this is my shade. Yeah, this is totally my shade. All right. So, reference, you guys, I'm actually number four, which kind of shocks me. I would have thought I was way lighter, but I'm not. <laughs> There's number three, 
number two, and number one, which all like really, really, really pale colored. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying, like, that's how, that's how that one is. Oh. So, yeah, on number four, if you guys need a reference. Oh, my gosh. Kazi knows I'm up here, and he's not happy about it. By the way, you guys want to hear something adorable? Other, like, him wise and stuff? Last night, apparently, while he was, um, he was playing and everything. Um, and he was playing in his playpen. Um, he likes playing in his playpen. He likes being in that area because he likes, like, just throwing himself and everything in there. It's very funny. But anyway, it was really funny that um, Mary Lou. Oh, yeah, he's not happy about me up here right now. Because he's like, Mom, why, why are you up there? Why don't you have me? It's basically what it is. It's fine. He's all right. Um, anyway. So, it was really funny because yesterday when he was, um, playing and everything and Mary Lou unzipped the playpen so that he could actually, like, walk out or crawl out, basically, and then walk all over the place, um, like he does a lot. Anyway, it was really funny because apparently he walked to the stairs. He didn't go up the stairs, but he walked to the stairs and, um, Mary Lou goes, what are you doing? And he literally looked at her, and then he's like, he kept saying, Mama, Mama, Mama. Anyway, it was really funny because Mary Lou goes, Mama's not up there. Are you looking for Mama? And he looked at her funny, and then he, she goes, Mama's not up there. And then he goes and turns around and starts going the other direction. Because that means, apparently... That was a sign of Mama's not up there. Mama is in the other room. So he decided to turn around, scoot his little butt, um, walk all the way through the living room, go through the dining room, went through the laundry room, um, went through the kitchen, and then went to my room, was going to my room. And before he went to my room, um, I was actually in the laundry room at my fridge, and when I was at my fridge, um, he literally was walking up, and I could hear him, and I'm like, what are you doing? And he looks up and looks at me and everything, and I'm like, oh, okay, hi. I'm like, what are you doing? And then Mary Lou explained everything to me, and I was laughing, because I was like, really? Like, you had to come all the way Al, you had to come see Mama. <laughs> it's really funny. And I was like, okay, I see. I understand. And I, it was so funny because I already knew that I was going to grab him. I was just like, I had to make him a bottle for like, um, I had to make him basically almost like a bedtime bottle type. And I was in the middle of making his bedtime bottle when he like ran up to me. And it was really funny. So yeah, very funny. Um, he ran up to me and then I was like, oh, do you want this? I was like, I'm in the middle of making your baba. And I was like, well, you have to go get diaper change first. I'm like, I can't just give you your baba. And uh, anyway, it was really funny because then he's like, I'll, I'll grab him. I'll, I'll take him. I'll go change him real quick so you can finish up as baba. And I'm like, okay. And he grumped and everything. He got so mad. And then I walked out there. Um, with his baba, I walked out there, and then I was like, I was like, oh, you want this? I was like, okay, well, here, come here. And so then he got up and then came to me, and then I took him in the room to give him his baba. So, it was really funny. We're going to use a gold bar, you guys. Like I said, get this foundation, you guys. It's so good. This is my perfect shade. Found my perfect shade in the foundation. That's crazy to me. Um, I'm number four. 
I am number four. And honestly, I feel like, hold on. I feel like I could be like number three, like summertime, but like not now. Right now I'm a number four. But, ah, uh, gosh, my eye freaking nose is draining so bad. Yeah, he's not happy about it. It's okay. But yeah, it was adorable though. It was adorable. Oh, and then um, also what was really funny was that when he wanted to go take a shower with Ray, it was so funny because Ray was like, oh, okay, I see. Because he was walking into the um, bathroom and that usually means that he wants to go take a, you know, shower, bath, whatever thing. And uh, anyway, it was really funny because as soon as he got in there, he goes behind the door and he shuts the door. It was so funny because Ray was in there. And I was like, oh, okay, are we, are we gonna get a, we gonna get a shower and a bath, baby? And he literally goes the, to, like, behind the door and he shuts the door. It was so cute. It was so funny. I'm telling y'all, he is smart. I know everybody says that and stuff about, like, their kids and everything, but seriously, like, he is so smart. He really is. He amazes me every time. He amazes me. All right. We're going to use this really pretty pink shade here. And we're going to use that as a um, kind of base on top of the concealer. And then also just like all over the lid here. Just all over the lid. Yeah, he doesn't like when I, um, you know, I go upstairs. He knows that he's not coming up here with me or anything. So, that's why. Alright, um, I feel like we're going to do some pink. I feel like I haven't done pinks in a little bit. So, I think we're going to do a little bit of pink and maybe a little bit of purple. Maybe some pink and purple. Since my beautiful profile photo on this page is so cute. Have you guys seen it? Isn't it cute? Alright. We're going to go with like this really pretty light purple here. Sorry, I don't mean to blind you guys. That's just how the palette is. I don't mean to, I don't mean to. But there you go. See, see all the shades? I'm trying not to blind y'all. But We're going to go with this really light purple. This light purple is going to be my transition color. It's so pretty. You guys can still get this gold bar eyeshadow palette right now on Spoil Cosmetics website. I know, so cute. Picture you have is so cute. Aw, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, if you guys need a new foundation, definitely check out Spoiled Cosmetics. I already know that I love it. It's on my face right now. It's so pretty. So pretty. And it's not like a super, super, it's not heavy at all. It's lightweight, but what I was going to say is it's not like a super, super matte either, which is really nice. And now he's, like, yelling, but in a happy way. He does that, you guys. You might hear him scream or something. Uh, usually that is when he's so happy. Because you can tell whether he's upset or when he's happy. And his happy screams are so funny. Right now he's grumping. And then he's, like, happy. And then he grumps. And then he's happy again. He's such a goofball. That usually means that somebody, like, walked away or something for a second. That's usually what that means. That's okay, though. He's all good in his playpen. He's watching his favorite show. 
He loves watching Bluey. Anyone else? Anyone else's littles love watching Bluey? He's obsessed. He's absolutely obsessed with that show. I mean, it's a cute show. It really teaches you a lot of things. Well, it teaches a lot of littles a lot of things. I mean, some adults probably could learn that stuff too. But <laughs> it's mostly for littles and it's so it's so good. It teaches them so good. So Oh, you could watch Bluey yourself. You could watch Bluey by yourself. As long as you have Disney Plus and stuff, you could watch it. Or if you watch on um, YouTube, too. YouTube has it. You just find the channels on there and stuff. Um, free YouTube-wise and stuff, you can find them. I sometimes put the YouTube on instead of Disney Plus sometimes. Yeah, if you don't have it on Disney Plus and stuff and you don't have Disney Plus, that's fine. You can easily get it on um, regular YouTube. Just search Bluey, like Bluey episodes or Bluey in general and stuff. And you can pop up things where some people have like um, kind of recorded or whatever or just in general posted. And they post like episodes and everything. So... It's one way to actually watch it, too, without using Disney Plus. Because I put it on for Cassie all the time um, without using Disney Plus sometimes, too. I mean, we have Disney Plus, but we also use, like, the YouTube and stuff, so. All right, we're going to go with the pink right here. I feel like this look is just, like, moving along. Oh, this pink is so pretty. I have not done pink look in so long. It's crazy to me. Oh, that means we got to do the pink highlighter. Got it. Well, we already did the highlighter, but means we got to, I don't know, maybe do the pink on top. I don't know. Probably not. This one is a highlighter right here, by the way. Highlighter's already in the palette. And I'm actually going to use this palette for brows, too, because this brown, these browns right here are great. I use this dark one for my brows, and I love using that. Hi, Katie. This is one of my favorite palettes. Is it really? Yeah, you guys. And the nice thing is they're back in stock. They're on the website. They're back. I saw that. I went and looked to make sure. A lot of other ones are freaking, like, sold out and stuff, but. Like, the gamer controller one is sold out. Like, oh my gosh. I absolutely, I love the gamer one, too. It's super cute. It's a controller. It's adorable. How am I? I'm doing good. Unfortunately, right now, I'm on Shark Week, which sucks. Um, and my body just is so mad at me right now. Ugh, it's gross. But I'm good. <laughs> I am good. Been busy. Been super, super busy. Alright, I'm gonna go... With this purple again, this really light one. I want to go right underneath the eye. Oh, my body hurts. And what sucks too is you guys, I have Midol and stuff, but Midol did not even work. It did not help. And by the way, I haven't slept. I didn't sleep at all last night because my cramps were hurting so bad. Sucks for me, so that's fine though. I'll go to bed tonight. I'll probably take Midol and crash. So, probably exactly what I'll do. Ooh, let's do a purple. Whoop! 
whoopsie, led to a purple eyeliner. What color was that? Was that? No, nope, that wasn't it. Nope, that's not it. No, that's not it. Oh my gosh. Wait, is there two? Oh, no, that's a seven and a one. Okay. Oh, it's number seven. Baby boy is good. He's growing like a weed. <laughs> He's so big, you guys. It's crazy. Shocks the heck out of me how smart he is. Shocks me that he's learning things quick. Oh. Boy amazes me. That's all I can say. Boy amazes me. He has seven teeth, you guys. Seven teeth. Seven teeth already. I still can't believe he's like, he's one years old. But then again, I can because it doesn't feel like it was yesterday that I had him or anything. Like, it definitely doesn't feel like that because... I'd be in so much pain if it was. I'm so glad that my body has finally, like, felt better for the most part. So. It's alright, though. He's my blessing. He's my rainbow baby. It's what he is. He's my rainbow baby. My rainbow, baby, my miracle. He's all of it. He is all of it. <laughs> That's funny. Karen, no. No. Um, so a C-section can actually take up to a couple years to heal fully. Um, no. <laughs> uh, a lot of times my every once in a while and stuff, especially right now with my cramps are so freaking bad right now because after C-section, C, uh, hold on. After having a C-section and going through all that and everything, um, periods are the worst. The worst. Like, I feel like these periods are as painful as they used to be, except for maybe worse than that. So, and mine were pretty bad when I was younger, when I first started. So, yeah. No, thank you. Nope, nope, nope. All right, we're going to do... I feel like we should do this one. What do you guys think? Either this one or... Where's that other deep one? Where's the other deep one? There's that one or... Or maybe we'll do both. I don't know yet. That one or this one? I don't know if it matters too much because I feel like they're almost the same. Hold on. Oh, shoot. Well, they're almost the same. Which that one? Which one? They're almost the same. Except this one's a little more plummier than this one. So that's interesting, though. That's real interesting. This one's a little more plummier than this one. You can't really tell. The top one? Okay. I think that was what? This one? Or was it that one? Oh my gosh. Hold up. 
Let me figure this out. Yeah, it was that. Okay, it was this one. All right, so we're going to use the You Can Be one. Ugh, I really wish I wouldn't have wrote that all over my hand. It's fine, though. I'll just have to get it off in a bit. Just put that on. I should have put the lip oil on, but I didn't. It's fine. Alright, I'm going to use my mirror so I don't have to look up here at the mirror. I do have a liquid lipstick that technically a lip glaze and everything that would go with this, but I'm just doing the whole liner. Instead. It's so creamy. What do you guys think? Ooh, sultry. And that was the You Can Be liner. You guys can get it in with the um, whole lip liner set with the lip glazes and the lip balm all together. And a ladies night set. And I think if I remember correctly, it was like $9.99 because it's on sale. All right, let's do brows. Did I put that back? I sure did. All right, we're going to go in with this brown here from Spoiled. I use this as a brow color. And I do thin brows. I don't do no thick ones or anything. Not usually. I forget how this brush works sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't pick the product up away. Has its days. I don't know. It's fine though. I don't know what the heck they're doing to the freaking outside right now. It's why the dogs are barking because I don't know what they're doing. There's cranes or something outside and I have no idea what they're doing. Probably something with the power lines again or something. They already, um, they had to fix a pipe. Uh, was it yesterday? It's either yesterday or day before. They had to fix the pipe because they broke a, they went through a freaking pipe. And our water was like really, really like down until they had to go, they had to fix it. And they fixed it. So it is fixed, but it was annoying that in the first place, like they, they hit the pipe. Like, I don't know how they do that, but they did. So, all right. What do you guys think? I feel like my phone is, the screen is just like not at all bright for some reason. Oh, because it auto brights. I forgot. That's why. What do you guys think? 
I feel like this is a very sultry type of lip. This eye look is pretty though. I really like it. Oh my gosh, I forgot my mascaras. Are you kidding me? I do this every time. I literally have a jar of my mascaras and I literally left them downstairs again. Oh my gosh. I was not thinking because I was in the middle of like, I need to work out. I need to do the workout. Ugh. I should turn this on and I should share this out, but do I want to? <laughs> I don't know. I guess I will. Do you guys want to? I don't. I feel like that was really fast. Was that a fast look? I feel like it was. And I did like everything except for the mascara because, like I said, ugh, I left them downstairs. Which is super annoying, but is what it is. Was that a fast look? I feel like it was. Um, you guys want to ask any questions at all? What was a fast one? Oh my god, the fastest one I've ever seen in my life. Oh my gosh, really? Wow, I didn't even mean to make it fast either. Like, at all. It's only 2.47, you guys. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me because it doesn't feel like that. <laughs> it feels later. <laughs> then again, I haven't slept, so I guess that would be, that would be something. Okay. <coughs> Ow. And hold on. I've literally been wearing makeup since it was five years. Oh, since you're five years old? Aw, that's awesome, girl. I have not wore makeup that long. I got into makeup when, let's see here. Um, I got into makeup in... When I was in high school, I started getting into makeup a little bit, not by much. And then after that, um, I really got into it um, in 2017. When I started, you know, with, uh, when I started with the Y Company. And I started watching the Y Company and everything, and then I, like, wanted to be a part of it. And then I signed up in 2018. But 2017, I was using a bunch of the makeup already. And, um, I got into it that way. Like, I got into it because, um, other people sent me... Some Y Company makeup at the time when I first started talking about, like, um, joining and everything at the time. And that's kind of how I got into it. I used to sell my sisters and she used to have to fix it. For, oh, really? See, I didn't have a, I didn't have a sister. I have a brother. <laughs> Y'all don't know, I don't have a, I don't have a sister. I have a brother, so. And my mom, when she would use makeup and stuff, I would watch her and stuff. And I would use it a little bit, like, I would use it for, like, Halloween and stuff. My mom would put makeup on me and everything for Halloween. But other than that, I didn't really use it um, until after um, until, like, high school and stuff. And then high school, I barely even used it, too. Like I said, I got more into it after 
starting with um, the Y Company and stuff. That's what kind of got me started. And then after that, then I just like got more into it. And um, I was explaining to you, Karen, um, that, oh, sorry, I'm in pain. Um, that I, um, sorry, lost train of thought here. Um, let me think here. Oh, King Beauty. Um, how I got started with a lot of, like, the affiliate marketing. That's a good freaking story there. Um, I started with affiliate marketing and everything when I started showing off the Y Company stuff. Um, then another company saw that I was showing off products and stuff, and they reached out to me. And wanted me to, like, work, um, basically, like, buy the King Beauty box and stuff. Because it was King Beauty. And as soon as I got the King Beauty box and I did the unboxing and I showed you guys at the time. And I had my code. And I still have my code. Uh, but I had my code and everything. And I, like, showed it off and did all that. And then I did the post and did the post and showed you guys you know, all about that stuff, because those are great deals, and that's why, like, I showed them, number one, um, and when I did that, then it was that time when, like I've said before, the person who I work with a lot of times is a brand manager, I love her, she's fantastic, I was just talking to her last night, um, but a brand manager contacted me through that, and I was just telling Karen this whole story and everything. We were talking about it. But I thought it was a scam. <laughs> because, you know, you get a lot of that stuff, like, scammy, whatever, on Instagram and stuff. So, when I get this message saying, hey, we want to work with you. We want to send you free product. What do you guys think, usually? Yeah. I thought it was a scam, but I entertained it. I basically was like, okay, what's the catch? What's this? Blah, blah, blah. I asked the questions. And anyway, then after that, she was like, seriously, there's no catch. Um, one thing we want, we want reviewers. We want people to review the product. We want them to give us the feedback. We want all that. And I'm like, oh, okay, well... I, you know, hmm, 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 hmm. And I was still in the back of my mind going, is this a scam? So anyway, when, I think that would be, I know, right? Exactly, I know. Um, so anyway, then she messages and she was like, oh, I need um, this information. And I was like, well, this is an information that you can take and use, like, to get into things like none of that it's not that type of information so it was like okay sure like they needed my email they needed my name that's all they really needed on the thing and not my whole name either they just need my first name on it um anyway they needed that they needed my email and then next thing I know I was like okay here you know because it's not like they can hack blah 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 they can't really do that through that stuff so um, anyway, they did that, and as soon as they did that, then they got in, um, got the products out, basically, showed me the product that um, they wanted me to test out, they wanted me to review, they wanted me to give feedback, um, and I was like, okay, sure, why not? And I was thinking, hmm, you know, am I really going to receive this product? Am I really going to do this? Am I really, you know, in my head every time? But it was like, okay, why not try it? It's not like they're asking for bank account information. They're not asking for this. They're not asking for that. So it's like, okay, let's see. So I did. And as soon as I did, they got whatever the product was. I think it was a serum. I think it was a serum. I don't remember. I think it was a face serum was one of them. Yeah, I think it was a face serum that they kind of wanted me to 
review and stuff. But anyway, as soon as I got the face serum and stuff, I, um, or after I did all this and they're like, okay, all you have to do is give us, um, your order number. And I was like, okay, sure. And mind you, I did not pay for the product. They did. Um, anyway, so what they did was they immediately, they're like, we just need your order number. That's it. We just want to make sure you actually ordered, um, the product correctly. You know, we want to make sure you got the right thing. That's all they need to know. Um, I know, right? And so anyway, as soon as um, I figured out that, I gave them order number. I did all this. And um, as soon as I did all that, then they're like, okay, cool. You'll receive your product. Um, if you would, if you don't mind stuff, could you do a photo? We want a photo of the um, product in your hand and stuff. We want this. Um, we want to know your feedback. What do you think of the serum? All this stuff. And then as soon as I received the product, number one, I was like, how? <laughs> like, how did this happen? How did I just receive this when I'm like, is this a scam? You know what I mean? And I received it. And as soon as I received it, I was like, okay, here it is. Like, and I sent them a photo of me holding it because they wanted to make sure that I got it, that I received it and everything. Um, and all I had to do was show like it was in its box already and stuff. I just had to show the pro that I received it. So I sent them that and then they're like, okay, um, test it out. Um, you have like, they give you a deadline, of course, um, in, the, like, the beginning. Because they want to make sure you're, like, serious about this stuff in the first place. So, like, um, you can have, I think it was, like, two weeks, I think. It was, like, two weeks I had, and I got to, like, test the serum, do all this, you know, all that kind of stuff. And I tested the serum, and I liked it. There were a couple things that I was like, oh, this definitely needs improved by this and this. I feel like this probably needs to be changed or this needs to be changed. It was like a couple things that I told them and stuff. And um, they're like, oh my gosh, thank you for your feedback. Um, and then they're like, we're going to get in touch with the company and let them know that one of our product reviewers... Um, decided, you know, reviewed it, looked at it, tested it, and told us this feedback and stuff because they want to hear that so that they can figure it out and stuff. Because when they send you those products and stuff, usually they're newer and they're wanting to make sure that they're good for people and stuff. And if they're not really good for your product reviewers, then you really should change something. So, and they were like really nice about it and everything. I was never negative about it. Um, if I was not negative, but like, if I had cons about it, you know, issues with it or something, I would tell them, give them feedback, all that kind of stuff. And then they would go back and they're like, okay, we're going to contact this company. We're going to do this, 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 this. And then, um, most, most of the time I would get an email. Um, I think it was maybe one company I didn't get an email from them or maybe it went to spam. I don't know. But most of the time I would get a company, uh, an email from the actual company that I did like the product and stuff that I reviewed the product because the brand manager works with all kinds of brands and all kinds of companies and stuff. So that's why, um, when they contact them and they let them know who said blah, 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 blah. Um, then apparently they send you out an email and, um, thank you sometimes. So, a lot of times I would get an email saying, thank you, hey, thank you so much for reviewing this, thank you for your feedback, um, and the one time with that serum, I told them they really should change the bottle, like the, um, I think it was like the lid or something, I told them they needed to change that because on it, the, um, dropper, that's what it was, the dropper, like, broke and quit working, and I told them that that was the issue with it. And then they're like, okay, cool. And they messaged me back and they're like, um, they said, when we fix that issue, would you like the new one? And I was like, 
wait a minute, like, do I, do I need to purchase, you know, do I need to purchase the new one? And they're like, no. They're like, we're going to send you it for free. And I was like, what? Why? <laughs> My initial thought, why? I already have it. Why, why would you send me the new, you know, why? Like, they're not going to change the actual formation because that's fantastic. But they were changing the bottle, the format of it, like, for example, for example, like this is a dropper and they changed the dropper into a different thing. And it ended up being a pump is what it ended up being. Ended up being a really specific pump though. I've not really seen that pump. I really should get the serum again. Um, I haven't had it in a while, but it was really good. And I used it a lot um, until I think it was that I forgot to order it or something. And then I just like totally forgot because I was doing all kinds of other stuff. Um, but anyway, so when it came to that, they changed the top of it and everything because of my suggestion. And apparently I wasn't the only one either. There were a couple other people who were like, oh my gosh, this dropper. Oh my gosh, this, this. And I was like, oh, wow. So, not just me, but also they took our feedback and they're like, we're changing it. Like, they did it. They did it. So, I was like, wow, okay. Um, but anyway, they ended up emailing me back after and they're like, oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, we changed it. And we're going to send you it. They're like, all you have to do, um, they're like, can you please, um, give, again, your email and your this, um, just give us, um, what was it, the email, uh, shoot, what was it, it was the email and then it was like the name and, oh, the name and order number, that's what it was, because I wanted to make sure they were sent to the right person and stuff, so all they needed was my order number so that they could look that up and then go through and then send me the new one, so that's what they did, they literally sent me the brand new bottle, and when I got it, I was like, holy crap, like, now I've got, like, this one and this one, and now I can kind of show everybody at the time, I could show everybody that they changed it. Like, that was really cool. And I did, too, at that time. Um, I can't remember. I think I did it. I feel like I did it off YouTube or something. I feel like. I feel like I may have done it on YouTube. Because um, a lot of times, sometimes I'll do, like, a lot of different videos and stuff. Like, a lot of the reviewer videos and stuff are usually on YouTube. Um, because they like going there and like going and seeing that and stuff and I've been uh what was it the one product that I've reviewed and stuff like that they've used my they've used my picture actually if you go to the person and stuff like that with the brand manager brand manager literally has um my photo up which is really cool um because I love working with them but it's crazy because then after that, then with you can be and everything, um, you can be contacted me after they saw all the King Beauty, all the other reviews stuff that I was doing. They went and contacted me after seeing a look of mine and they saw that I was part of like King Beauty and all that kind of stuff. So then they're like, Ooh, let's get in with her. So that's kind of how it works is like when you're with those companies and stuff like that. And then they see you doing more stuff, you doing more looks, excuse me, more videos, all this other stuff. They usually contact you. Um, which is really cool. I don't even know how I got lucky with all that. I have no idea. Um, I was in shock. Because it was honestly crazy on how fast that stuff was going to. It was like... And I was doing, like, a review and a product every month. It's kind of slowed down now. Only because um, they were working on a couple other things and stuff. So, kind of slowed down a little bit. But not by much. Because 
behind the scenes, you guys, I've been also testing out and doing all kinds of stuff with certain products and stuff. I have a product coming tomorrow, which I'm actually going to show you guys. And then I have a product coming Friday, which I'm also going to show you guys. Unfortunately, though, um, unfortunately, you can't get them right now, but um, soon you will be able to. Fashion centers the next day to fashion sign with you guys. Oh, really? That's awesome. Yeah, when companies see you with other things, they see you kind of branching out there they see more of you and everything that is when they start getting curious they go to your profile and they go and scroll and stuff and if they like what they see then they go and they contact you there's definitely some on like there's a lot on instagram that are so fake and so ridiculous but i've gotten better and better at realizing which ones are like fake and stuff and which ones are not so I don't even know how I do it. I just, I don't know. It's like a, I look at their profile. I look at when they posted. I've looked at like what they're posting, you know, things like that. So, but the cool thing too is my brand manager is on um, Facebook now too. So, which is really cool. Because I actually chatted with her last night through Facebook because it seemed like the Instagram messenger, some, some wasn't working right last night. It wasn't working right. So, I tried to contact her on the Facebook and everything. And it worked. And we talked and everything. So. But anyway, I'm going to jump off here, you guys. I need to go take off this makeup. And it's not because I want to take it off. It's because I need to so that I can relax with Cassie and love on Cassie and just kind of like distant, <laughs> basically. Um, what was it? What else was I going to say? Definitely, you guys, if you want to get this palette, you definitely should. It is available. Use my discount code. It'll save you some moolah. Um, and if you want to save some moolah, use my code and everything and get the foundation, you guys. The foundation is available. And if you guys don't want to get the foundation right away and you want to get the samples, there are samples. And you can get, these are four jars. You can't see them four jars of samples here and you get them um there are five five or six i think it's five um but there are each set is different sets and stuff you just gotta figure out like what tone you are more of and then you can grab the sample set the sample set is three dollars and fifty cents you guys three dollars and fifty cents and you can use my discount code and get ten percent off that which is awesome um so anyway i hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day your night your evening whenever you are um we did an afternoon live so we're good i'm so out of it um so i will see you guys tomorrow but um, I hope, yeah, I just said that. Sorry, I'm so out of it. Please don't mind me. Um, like I said, I'm on Shark Week, so I'm just like, woo, basically. Alright, I hope you guys have a great rest of your night, evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are in the world, and I will see you guys tomorrow, and I'm jumping off here. Bye! And if you guys need shade match for the Spoil Cosmetic Foundation, please message me. A selfie of you facing a window. The window window needs to be in front of you. Take the photo. Um, no makeup. And you're golden. Make sure your neck is at least showing a little bit. Um, and I can get you shade matched free of charge.